Now, civil society organizations working in Nigeria's northeastern region have called for more funding to tackle current humanitarian challenges. This was as they met in the nation's capital, Abuja, to develop a roadmap for humanitarian intervention. Mavelos Obumano completes the report. It was a meeting of civil society organizations operating in Nigeria's troubled northeastern region. The group, under the aegis of the Northeast Civil Society Network, say there is a need to come up with solutions to improve the living standards of residents of the region and develop strategies for building sustainable peace in the Northeast. They called on all stakeholders in the region to support humanitarian and development efforts. The state governments uh, in the Northeast, uh, the federal government intends to partner with them also continue to partner with them even more uh, to make sure that um, insurgency and terrorism in the Northeast is a thing of the past. We need the unions at the table, so I think it's really encouraging that they are here today and working so closely with you, and we need civil society, and of course the international community. So between those four actors and others, the media are represented. So. We will not only have to work with everyone to address humanitarian issues, but we will have to have a multi-stakeholder approach if we want to rescue the development agenda. We need to like come together to reflect and also plan for the future, especially now that you have a, a new democratic dispensation and you have new leaders, so we need to develop a strategy for engagement on how we can be able to work together with various stakeholders, how we can be able to bring the situation of the communities to the stakeholders. They also endorse the leadership of the North East Development Commission, saying there is still room for more engagement. We also endorse the leadership of the North East Development Commission, having, having they got their second tenure now, and we thought it's very important for us to endorse them and ask for further uh, engagement with the communities. We also spoke to them about need to com uh, identify a community-driven initiative where they can be able to have uh, impact, considering that the donors fatigue now, the international organization, they don't have money now to even give for this kind of a thing. Some of them, however, criticized the pace of development in the Northeast, saying the economic realities of the nation is stalling its recovery. Recovering from conflict is a very slow process. It's, um, it's something that takes time because this is, you are talking about um, the lives of people that have been de devastated completely starting from scratch. So there's a lot of effort that has been put there by civil society organizations, international organizations, UN agencies, you know, even the people themselves, they've been so resilient, they've been, you know, um, very good at put, picking themselves back up and putting themselves together, coupled with the economic situation in the country. So, you know, they are, they are, they are, people are struggling with recovering from conflict, you know, and also still struggling with the same economic situation, even worse, because things are actually even more expensive in the Northeast at the, at the moment. For a region that has been affected by insurgency for over a decade and three years, stakeholders here are calling for a collective action and commitment to help reduce the impact of insurgency in the Northeast. Marvelous Obomano reporting for News Central.